we deal with adversity and, and we're really excited to be here. The road to the World Cup has made a sudden stop in the Tampa Bay area. The U.S. men's soccer team had planned to be in the Middle East this week, but rising tensions there forced them to relocate to Bradenton. Eight on your sides, Manatee reporter John Rogers at the, is at the IMG Academy, and he has that story. Good evening. When team officials needed a backup plan, the choice was obvious. Sunny Florida. Good job. The pitch is the same. The equipment is the same, but the locale is quite different. The U.S. men's national soccer team meant to be in Qatar today. Instead, they're 7,600 miles away in Bradenton, Florida. So some things happen that are out of our control. In the wake of the U.S. airstrike in Iran, tensions in the Middle East are building, and the team decided the area was too dangerous. There are very few venues available to accommodate this team on such short notice, but IMG Academy fit the bill. Certainly it has everything from a training perspective and a recovery standpoint, and, um, and so we're excited to be back here. We, we don't kind of let anything get, get to us, and one of the um, you know, big um, idea within the team is dealing with adversity and how to deal with that. The players will be training to make the roster, and they'll build camaraderie as they enjoy the benefits Tampa Bay has to offer. But make no mistake, this is a serious business trip. Everyone always has something at stake, uh, especially any time that you're representing uh, the U.S. I call it a responsibility. Um, you know, we, the, the, the players, the coaching staff, the whole organization feels a responsibility to the nation, to our fans, to get back in the World Cup. They do hope to visit Qatar before the 2022 World Cup, and thanks to IMG Academy, they'll be ready. The team will be here at IMG through the 25th, and then they'll head over to L.A. to face Costa Rica on February 1st. In Bradenton, John Rogers, 8 on your side.